me ask you this. With you saying that, because <laughs> you just hit me across my head some, for some stuff I ain't never even thought about. Uh, and yes, your body is eating on itself. It's eating the fat off your body. Yeah, keto diet for lazy people, in my opinion. That's for people who can't uh, stop from over-consuming foods that's, that's, that's very dense in calories, so they have to eat foods that's not going to like spike the and just eat what they want, meaning they have no self-control, no self-discipline. Also, it's not for people who uh, exercise, because you need protein, you need carbohydrates for intense training and for, for muscle or uh, regeneration and, and, and growth and, and to sustain muscle. You see what I mean? Yeah. So if you're not giving your body this shit, you are no condition. You feel like you're just living because you're on a strict ass diet. Implement exercise. Put more stress on your body while you're on a keto diet. You see what I'm saying? You you on a road to destruction and it's not sustainable. How long can you go to the grocery store and shop in the keto aisle? How long before you end up <laughs> all the out around a kitchen to cook this shit off microwave and a Chick-fil-A right there, McDonald's right there, churches right there? And lo and behold, Popeye's got a <laughs> That nigga called my weakness. He called my weakness. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's really about your calorie intake, dog. That's your end all be all. You're not going to be able to consume your protein through through your actual food. You can, but it's it's you have to eat mostly like chicken, turkey. It's, it's, it's not sustainable for the average life. A bodybuilder, yeah, that's, that's, that's the They do that shit for kicks. You see what I'm saying? They're going to do it. You got people that climb mountains for fun. Everybody not going to do that. You see what I mean? I so you. you have to find a way for to not exceed over your daily calorie intake. So you need to know how many calories you need in order to, to get a hold of it. To it get the what you need to be. calories and maybe 2,000 calories depending on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And some variables that, that, that come into play to determine that. Your age, height, weight, how active you are, your gender. You see what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. determines what your, your total calorie intake should be. You want to go slightly below that. That's the key. Every day you want to go below that. The key is how do you do this without your hunger taking control of you to where you just go over that. You see what I mean? So you need to know how many calories is in your food. It's not going to take long. If you know how to play dominoes, you know how to remember the numbers and attach the numbers to what you see. Who the wants the, the dots on the dominoes after playing dominoes consistently? You play that shit for two weeks, you know how to stop and you be saying 15 with that one. That's how it plays when you're Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll know, okay, that meal right there gonna consist of 600 calories, gonna have about 50 grams of protein. I need the carbs because I'm exercising. The carbohydrates is what fuel large bursts of intense movement. You see what I mean? If you go to moving fast and carbohydrates is what's, what's contributing to that energy. You know what I'm saying? That's what you burn in your carbs. If you ain't got no carbs in your body, then your body gonna feed off some other shit to create this answer. And that's how you start depleting your shit, which is good. You would like for the energy source to be stored fat. But depending on the intensity that you're going to, you might not tap into that and store of fat. High intense training, you burn a strip of carbohydrates. You see what I mean? So you wanna fuel that, that, that session with carbs, like a Gatorade or a Powerade, not the zero, the kind with a large amount of carbs in it. Before, during, and after your training session to, to replenish your, your glycogen stores. 